Sophie Rivera was born in New York City and in the 1970s became active with a larger group of Puerto Rican photographers who were interested in documenting uh, Puerto Rican life in New York City. She created these photographs around a time when there were a lot of protests against the film Fort Apache the Bronx, which uh, depicted Latino and African American communities in the South Bronx. And many community activists protested against this film because they felt that it trafficked in stereotypes of Puerto Ricans and African Americans as criminals. Sophie Rivera created these portraits around that time. And she created them in an unusual way. She stepped out of her studio in, in New York and asked passersby if they were Puerto Rican. If they said yes, she invited them into her studio and photographed them against a blank background. She created 50 of these portraits, uh, and these are two of those 50 that are now in our permit collection. One of the interesting things about this project is the sophisticated way that it deals with issues of stereotype. These photographs monumentalize uh, these sitters, whom we don't know, and, and nor did Sophie Rivera know who, who they were. So they're anonymous uh, portraits that let the individuality of these people sort of speak for themselves. Uh, in the case of this gentleman, he looks uh, a bit weathered and tired, and he wears a beaded necklace, which suggests that he may be of the Afro-Caribbean faith of Santeria. In the case of the young woman, she styled her hair in uh, a flipped sort of Farrah Fawcett hairstyle and wears a smock that suggests that she might be a hairdresser or work at a supermarket. These photographs um, relate to other works in our collection by Latino artists that focus and monumentalize um, everyday people um, in an effort to not only document Latino life, but to look at Latino life beyond, beyond stereotype.